Let's talk about accelerating build and test time. An important component of that is build caching. For those who have not heard about build caching or are not exactly sure what it's about, let me explain the concept. When you run a single build, it usually means you run at least hundreds of build actions, like compiling a particular module or testing it. A build cache caches the output of a single build action. When another build is executed on the same machine or different machine, if the inputs have not changed, build actions can use the cached output of a previous run of the same build action, instead of executing again. Examples of those shared outputs are compiled classes, test results, check style reports, or generated source code. A build cache makes building a single source repository faster. This is very different and complementary to a dependency cache like Artifactory or Nexus, where libraries that represent other source repositories are cached. Let's see this in action. I have checked out the Apache SLF4J project. It is a small project with 12,000 lines of Java code, and it is built with Maven. Let's run the build and tests. On the left, using the build cache, and on the right, without the cache. The build using the cache is now finished. Let's look at the build scan. You can see that it took Maven 13 seconds to execute 152 build actions. 54 of those were retrieved from the cache. The build not using the cache is still running. It's a good example for waiting time caused by build executions. It's finished now. The build scan tells us that it took 38 seconds to execute the same 152 goals, with zero of them being retrieved from the cache. We have a difference of 38 seconds to 13 seconds, which is a reduction by 65%. Keep in mind that this build has not been optimized yet for best cacheability. Those results is what we're getting right out of the box. One of our customers, LinkedIn, runs hundred thousands of builds every day. They wrote a blog post about the benefits they're getting from the build cache. Here's a shot showing the performance improvements. It is important to understand that you can improve the initial savings you get from caching significantly by optimizing the configuration of your build and also by improving the modularization of your code base.